Hi, my name is Jeff Golden. I'm the Chairman of Pathology at the Brigham and Women's Hospital and the Ramsey Cotran Professor of Pathology at Harvard Medical School. I wrote a commentary on an article that came out on JAMA on, by Bejnordi et al. on how to use artificial intelligence in pathology images to detect breast cancer metastases to sentinel lymph nodes. This study grew out of a challenge that was created uh, as an international competition for uh, any investigator to apply a computational algorithm, uh, in most cases a machine learning algorithm, to identify when a lymph node, a sentinel lymph node, in patients with breast cancer has had tumor cells that have gone to that lymph node or metastasized to that lymph node. The results of this study were that the computer could function as well as pathologists to detect metastases, both large metastases as well as very small or what are known as micrometastases in sentinel lymph nodes. Sentinel lymph nodes are the a lymph node immediately adjacent to where a tumor is or the closest lymph node to the tumor where it would first metastasize to and thus important to identify if this tumor has left its primary origin, original site. Artificial intelligence as a discipline or as a methodology is uh, really booming in healthcare and is being used in many areas. Both radiology and pathology are image rich. Essentially everything we do has images in it and thus they're well positioned for uh, the application of artificial intelligence. Radiology, by virtue of the fact that it has been collecting images digitally for over 25 years as their standard of care, is extremely well positioned to move forward and has begun to move forward using artificial intelligence for various applications to assist radiologists. Pathology is uh, relatively new to this field. I think there's three challenges to using artificial intelligence in pathology. Uh, the first is the um, proof of principle that there's a application for it that will actually add value. The reason we need to show that it adds value is that it's going to add costs, and that's really the second issue. And the last thing that's going to be really important for pathology is education. We're, uh, we're going to need to train a a whole generation of pathologists in being comfortable using computers, using artificial intelligence to assist in the diagnosis, assist in the efficiency of what they do. I think for pathologists to become comfortable, they are first going to need to adopt the idea of artificial intelligence and uh, the use of computers in assisting them for making their workflows more efficient. The last thing that I think we're going to need to do in pathology is um, potentially give up our crutch, that being the microscope. All of us are very used to and comfortable and facile with the microscope. Uh, it may be that we have to get to a point where we're doing our diagnostic work on a computer instead of a microscope. And I, I believe that will be a pretty scary place for many pathologists to go.